to face and today we're going to speak about writing creative writing i'm with leland who has a new book out um welcome to face to face thanks david thanks for having me no you're welcome so how did you end up uh, writing how did uh, the patient come from or from where it come from before we go to the book uh, the inspiration yeah. yeah you know my writing is usually comedic in nature, and I've always been fascinated with the stand-up comedy world, so I decided to write a comedy about stand-up comedy. Well, in New York, it's a good... Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, I started it back in 2010, um, and uh, I wrote a first draft yeah, as a fan of comedy, and then I decided to start doing it, you know, just for research, kind of like as a method actor. Oh, so do. you did comedies? I did it, I did oh. for about two and a half years. Oh, so you tour the clubs and everything? I did do the clubs. Eventually, I got passed at a club. It took, you know, it was a, mm -hmm. it was a long road. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it actually. I yeah. enjoyed writing jokes. I enjoyed performing, being uh -huh. in front of people. I had more success than I expected. Oh, wow! Probably, um, mm -hmm. I feel like if I kept going, I would have been a perfectly okay oh, good, com good, comic. Good, you know, probably yeah, no, not a star. It's a difficult but, uh, yeah. field. Yeah, yeah. but um, you know, eventually, I had to write, still had to write the book. Mm -hmm. um, I felt felt like I needed to stay married and stuff. <laughs> you know, it's hard to explain to my wife. You know, to be uh, you know in the clubs five nights a week uh, in bars and uh, yeah, that's a side uh, then we, right. need to, we need right. to understand. It's a younger it, man's it, yeah, game. It's, it's, basically, uh, is what it is. It's very complicated. Yeah, yeah. it's a life. And uh, so you are Asian, born in the U.S. Or? Yes. Yeah. Yes, born in okay. San Francisco. My okay. parents are from China. Okay. Originally, and um, you know, it's a unique experience. Basically, the the offspring of immigrants, mm -hmm. um, and uh, always a, a bit of a culture clash between the uh, the uh, generations. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it's complicated, or well, yeah. I think the book talks a little bit about that you know it's no it's entitled no good very bad asian and basically Eventually. the reason yeah basically the reason that uh you know he's such a bad asian is because he leaves home at 15 to start doing stand-up comedy instead of staying home with his family uh, with his parents who run a liquor store and kind of expect him to you know take over the liquor store oh, and I go see. to college yeah. and and do all the mm. things that you would normally do as as an uh, as, an as asian, a son as of an a, immigrant a, yeah, right mm -hmm. Um, and then, to his, to everyone's surprise, he becomes quite famous. Uh -huh. And and so, so you took your own process to to write the book, or it's coming from, it's a, it's a biography somewhere. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I did not become a, a famous stand-up comic, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I, you know, used the experience uh, that I, you know, of being on stage. I wanted to to know what it felt like to actually be on stage yeah, no, and to, what it feels like to get a big laugh mm -hmm. and I you know I kind of describe it in the book as mm -hmm. kind of levitating mm -hmm, you feel mm -hmm. like you're you're floating above yeah. above everybody um, but beyond that you know I had to you know I had my own inspiration for the story you know if I would, were to write my own biography of being a stand-up comic it'd be pretty boring <laughs> it would be, it, there wouldn't be much fame involved in no, yeah, most of exactly. the the comic people are very sad. I mean, in, in, yes. in their own life, it's, yes. it's a very dramatic uh, it is. life. I, mean, I think uh, you so. know, most comedians and most writers really are, are processing pain and trauma in some way in their lives. In their lives. No, but I think yeah. the comics are even in some ways a little bit more dramatic in, in their own life than yes. I don't. I mean, it's, uh, yes. it's yes. usually that's your reputation. There. Yes, and usually like famous comics are you know, they're even more dramatic. You know, they're giving all, all, given all these options to uh, make bad decisions. Mm -hmm. And bad decisions really drive comedy, you know, in my opinion. Oh, yeah? yeah it's, it's, they make jokes better, right, if you make, yeah, if you're making That's bad decisions true. in your life. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but you think the comics are always, in some way, telling their own stories, or? Uh, I think so. I think, uh, you know, you look at a lot of the, uh, the famous comics now, you, Chris Rock, he recent, uh -huh. recently did a uh, stand-up set uh, all about divorce, you uh -huh. know, and he and he went through a divorce with his wife. Um, you know, Louis C.K., who got into all that trouble. He's just starting to, you know, do material. Oh, about he's coming that. back. Yeah, he's coming back very quietly. Yeah, Aziz Ansari, who just had a, a special on Netflix, talks a little bit about you know all the trouble that that he went through uh, because of his misbehavior, uh -huh. Uh -huh. sexual misconduct. So, I think it all kind of your real life. Uh, inevitably feeds into your material and it kind of creates this persona, you know, which is separate from who you are 
you know, like when I was on stage, I was somebody different than who I am off stage, but they're very close. It's almost like good side, bad side, you know, dark side, That's light it. side. It's not like the yin and yang. It's, it's a, yeah, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's a little bit, bit, it's a little bit like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, I generally live a pretty boring life off stage, but on stage, you know, I'm, you know, you like to portray of yourself course. as somebody you who, who's, who, can, mm -hmm. who might be able to make all kinds of bad decisions. Mm -hmm. So how, uh, how you relate your experience, because it's a lot of talk, politically about immigrant and immigration mm -hmm. and I mean the last disgusting ideas of removing food stamp for the immigrant community. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. How do you do you process this or you Yeah, I think it's in the book. There's some yeah. stuff about, you know, what's gone on in, in the country recently uh, with Trump. At the timeline of the of the novel does overlap a little bit um, with our times now. Um, but yeah, it's, I think a book at its heart is about who gets to be American. And, um, you know, even the stand-up comic whose name is Serious Lee, um, he become he rises to Seriously? The, seriously, yes. Ha, ha, ha. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, pun fully intended. Um, but, yeah, he, uh, you know, he becomes the highest of the high. He becomes famous, and yet he continues to experience all kinds of different types of racism in Hollywood, um, with the people that he knows in his life, and he's never quite able to make peace with the uh, the fact that he's an Asian American and not quite as American, you know, as as he kind of envisions himself. He envisions himself as born seriously, even though that's not his given name. Um, but uh, because of where we are in America now, you know, there's there's a lot of question about who gets included when you say who is American so, and who's not. So for you, you really think it's very complicated for some people to feel American themselves. Yes, I, th I feel like I, I'm still kind of processing, yeah. you know, what's happening now. Sometimes I feel like an expatriate with a vote. And I think uh, a lot of people of color feel that way uh, since, are feeling that way since 2016. Wow. And, and, and what, what will be the road, or wh how can he be, uh, can he be transformed? Can he be... Um, I think... I mean, of yeah. course, socially, we can do a lot of things, but... but right. I don't think I have the answers uh, for it. I think, you know, a jo the job of the writer, especially in fiction, is to raise questions. And mm -hmm. I think... Um, no, but know, that's a very, it's a very important question. Right. Right. Um, you know, I don't know where we're, we're going to go, but I think what's happened in the last few years is certainly we've discovered that we haven't made as much progress as we initially thought. No, I agree. But, but from there to not feel American, it, it's a big, I mean, personally, it's a big gap. I mean, we, yeah, we, I mean, I've always felt American, especially born here. Yeah. Um, the feelings have changed, I think, in recent years. Uh -huh. um, my first novel was published in China last year, and I went back and did, did a bunch of book events there. Uh -huh. And really, for the first time, I felt uh, welcomed there, which was not the case. Uh, you, you, know, you went before, and now you are more welcome than you were yes, before? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I think, uh, you know, six, seven years ago, yeah. when you go back, uh -huh. if, if you didn't speak Chinese, they'd be you know, the reaction was, was sort of like, why don't you speak Chinese, yeah. mm -hmm. or are you scoffing at our country? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. because of the rise of China, because yeah. there's a rising middle class there, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. proud of their country. They're mm -hmm. like, come see it, yeah. you know, come back, yeah. you know, come back more often. Yeah. It, I don't care if you speak Chinese. You yeah. speak a little Chinese, that's great. Yeah. Um, it's just the world is, the world is changing. So that that's, that's transformed. Yes, that is transformed. Um, and I, I don't know if it's a good thing. You know, I, I think all around the world there's, there's you know, the global sort of alt-right kind of right-wing movements going on, uh, far, far more pro-nationalist, you know, type, types of thinking, you know, throughout the world. Um, it's not just America, right? It's not just Trump. It's breakfast, Brexit, there's Hungary. There's all, the, all these other places. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. big movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brazil and so on right. and so forth. Yeah. Yeah, Brazil, you know, the world is burning. It's know. disaster. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. No, no, but 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 I, I, I mean, I don't want to go back necessarily to to the to the story, but um, yeah. I, I didn't see it uh, so into everyone. Um, 
register of, of right. the issue of being American. And I think it's a very important to touch. Do you want so you have something special to say about the book because you are, you are well, more I think it's to great. About, yeah? I think the book is awesome. I think it's very funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I spent a long time on it. Yeah. Obviously, I, it was rigorously researched. Okay. You know, I definitely wanted to you know, do justice to mm -hmm. the uh, art of stand-up mm -hmm. um, and to the people that are in the stand-up mm -hmm. community um, who are great people, super funny. I, I mean, in the years that I did stand-up, I probably ha hadn't have never laughed like that mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. just every night. Um, and all those people are chasing their dreams, and that's kind of what, you know, what I wanted to, to, uh, share. to share is yeah. that they're chasing their version of the American dream, and the American dream is not the s same for everybody. It's not the big house, the big car. Sometimes it's, you know, getting up on stage and making people laugh uh, and making lots of people laugh and trying to, and trying to uh, you know, live a life that way, um, and I think, uh, you know, all the American dreams are valid. Yeah, yeah, and, and the role of the comics in the U.S. to share the story of everyone's life is very important. I mean, it's one of the, the conduit. It's not like that everywhere, but in the U.S., the comics are a very important uh, part of the, the social discourse, the social, uh, even, the, even at the political level, I think it, they have a big function. Yeah, uh, yeah no, they, I, play, uh, they play a big role. And I think it will continue to play a, you know, a big role. I mean, I love going to comedy clubs and hearing what comics have to say yeah. about the world. I love it. I agree. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, any, thank you, David. Anything you want to plug before we wrap it? Yeah, the book is uh, coming out uh, October 15th uh, from CNR Press. You can pre-order it now uh, at crpress.org. So I will put the link yeah. for people to... That would be great, be to, and I will be going on tour um, all over this, all over the West Coast, uh, also in New York and Chicago, Philadelphia, Washington D.C., uh, starting about September fifteenth. And if you want to uh, see where I'm going to be, you can uh, um, go to LelandChuck.com, uh, L-E-L-A-N-D-C-H-E-U-K.com, where the dates will be posted. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was your show Face to Face, and please keep watching your news on Presenza.com, and hope to see you very soon. Thank you.